What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ricky Rick, and your boy Ricky Rick is here with another Ricky Talk. Today, I'm gonna get deep. I wanna get deep. I feel like I haven't done a video like this in forever. And I wanna open up and share something that has happened recently in my life. Uh, I know sometimes people tell me, you know, you shouldn't talk about that. You shouldn't share that. You know, you should keep that to yourself. But me, being the person that I am, you know, saying that I don't give a fuck. You know, I do what I do because I feel like me doing this, people will watch it, people will get something out of it, and people, you know, might be like, fuck, watching this video and be like, damn, I'm not the only person that's gone, like, gone through something like this or thought something like this or said something like this, you know? So what I want to talk about here in this video is that I want to talk about some of the people that I lost, you know, when I first got brought into this world, there was one person who, for the longest time, I heard about, did not get the opportunity to meet, and that was my grandpa from my dad's side. When I was born, he was already gone, but I heard so much about him, the kind of person he was, how he was a strong man, how he was a very smart man, how he kept himself very clean. And, you know, I heard all these details from my father, my dad. My dad told me about this man. My dad told me about who this guy was, you know, like the history of where me and my family came from. And, you know, I had nothing but love and respect for this guy. And the fact that he brought my dad into this world. And, you know, I consider myself very lucky and fortunate to have my father in my life. And lucky that he met a woman like my mom and fell in love with a woman like my mom. And they both love each other and been together for this long. And give me the hope that love is real. Give me the hope that one day I might find somebody. And not only that, not only do they love each other and take care of each other, but they also share that love with me and gave me that love and always been there by my side, having my back and stuff. Um, for many, many years, I consider myself lucky and luckily, lucky and blessed and fortunate to not have anybody close to me die or get hurt, you know? But eventually I started seeing people who I grew up listening to through music, grew up watching through movies, who were young, who were people, I was like, damn, I know that person. Maybe not know him like as a friend or someone I hang out with, but knew him through his work. And, um, You know, I had one person after my grandpa who passed away who I knew who was a friend, who was not only a friend, she was my barber and she used to cut my hair and she knew my family and always was a nice lady, always respected me, respected my family and made us feel at home every time we would get a haircut. And she had the same love and passion for the Lakers like my family and I do. And so we had something in common and we became very good friends throughout the years. And finally one day she told her that she had cancer and she had a year to live. And, you know, it was the first time I ever saw somebody in a coffin, you know, it's a weird feeling, man. And, you know, when that person is gone, it's like, it's not until that person is in that coffin, gone and dead. And, you know, you realize that, but you know, when you come close to death, you're like, fuck, you know, it makes you think a little bit different, it makes you grow up, mature, uh, appreciate those who are around you. And, you know, it wasn't until recently in the last couple of years, anybody who has me on social media, on Instagram, Snapchat might know that, you know, I recently had people who passed away and who were close, who were friends, who were family. And 
sucks. Let me tell you, it's a sucks. It's a dark time for anybody, especially when you really care for that person, especially when you love that person, especially when that person was someone close to you. Um, you know, I had a big impact in, in my life it was somewhere after high school when I was in college and my childhood friends weren't here and I was hanging around with another group of friends who I became close with and we became like friends, we became really close, we became real tight, we became like brothers. And, you know, one night, on this night, I was supposed to, like, I could have been with this person by his side, hanging out where he was hanging out. And this friend of mine got, you know, gunned down by a drive-by. And I just think to myself, you know, that I could have been that could have been the night that they got me and that could have been the night somebody might have gunned me down on accident and I could have been dead. I could have not been here, you know? But luckily I'm here, you know? But it makes me question, like sometimes when I see things like that happen, especially to someone who is a family man, someone who has become a father, who has a daughter, who has a son, who has someone they love, a wife, a girl, and they leave those people behind, not by choice. You know, sometimes it can end it. It can end overnight, shockingly. Sometimes you might get the news that you only have a certain time to live and then there's nothing you can do. Uh, other times you wake up thinking you're just having another day and you know, it's just, that's it. That's a wrap. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, these different situations, these different people that are no longer here it makes me look at these people and the lives that they had and the people they left behind and it makes me think like damn that person was a father that person was a son that person was a brother that person had someone they loved had you know plans had goals had dreams and they're no longer able to accomplish those things you know I sometimes I find myself sitting here thinking like fuck you know, like I'm looking at this day right now, I'm looking at the sky and like, the sky is blue and it's beautiful and the palm trees, you know, I have right here in my house, they're green, everything's blooming. It's a wonderful time to be alive, you know, right here where I live, you know, I'm very lucky and fortunate, you know, to live where I live and, you know, it's a beautiful place and it's a beautiful time, um, you know, but it also makes me think like, fuck, it makes me think like, why, why that person? You know, and why not me? The reason why I say why not me is because like, you know, here I am a single guy, I don't have a son, I don't have a daughter, I don't have someone who loves me, but these people did. And it makes me think like, it makes me say stupid shit like, you know, why not me? You know, take me instead and not them, you know? I'm the type of person that would say something like that, you know? And it's not until you go through something like that or you have someone who you really care about that makes you say those things, you know? To other people, it might sound stupid and we're like, fuck, you know? But it's some real shit right there, you know? Um, you know, sometimes I sit myself right here, chilling. I could be drinking or not drinking and I'm just having this amazing view and I'm just thinking, like, fuck, you know? I cannot sit here, I cannot stand here and not do anything, not go on with my life and not honor these people. And I told myself, you know, how do I honor, I, I questioned myself, how do I honor these people? And I had answer, I came up with the answer of like, by living my life to the fullest, by living my life differently, by reaching my goals, by reaching my dreams and, you know, not wasting my life. And hopefully they're looking down on me and I'm making them proud and I hope to make them proud you know and I want them to all know that I haven't forgot about them and I'll see them soon one day you know I'm the type of person that I have always said this I have always felt like this since I was a little kid you know as a little kid I, I could see myself going to become 18 21 even 30, you know, but that's already pushing it. Now that I'm 30, 
and I'm like a couple months away from turning 31, I don't see myself old. I don't see myself with gray hair. I don't see myself, I can't picture myself like as a father, you know, I, I think I would be a great father, but I don't see myself like with a son or a daughter, you know, and it's a crazy thing to say. And, you know, right now I realize, you know, it's probably because I don't see myself. I'm not picturing myself, but maybe if I change that mentality, it will happen, you know, but I don't know. I just want to share this video and I know it's getting pretty long, but hopefully some of you guys get something out of this and you know hopefully you guys watch this video and enjoy this video uh i know it's a little deep but i just hope i can connect with the people who has gone through these as always it's your boy ricky rick if i'm not making you smile i'm not making you laugh or if i'm not keeping you entertained your boy ricky rick ain't doing his job and you already know your boy ricky rick does his job until next time guys this was a ricky talk the people I lost, the people I love, you'll never be forgotten. You're always right here and here. Until next time, guys, I'm out.